Now we've created our first slide in Course Lab. What I wanted, wanted to introduce you to are some objects that you'll find within Course Lab, and some of them are really useful. There's an awful lot of them, um, but I'm just going to give you an example of one, which is the list object. So what I want to do, I want to take this list out here, and I'm going to put it into a, a dynamic list. So what I want to do is insert an object and over here is the object library and you get all sorts of different objects that you can just add but the one I want to look at is lists and I'm just going to put in a standard list so I drag it onto the screen and to edit any of these objects and almost anything you just double click it so it says item text goes here so we'll double click it and inside here you get some options to change this list um, so it says it's light blue at the moment so I think I'll change the color to a green um, it's also saying that it's got a, a check mark here but what I might want to do I might want to make that a numbered list and what I would then do is, is type these into the item list so the first one is I don't know, T27 hours, T27, oh, T27 hours. I'll just copy this to make it a bit quicker um, in a moment. Click OK. I add another one. And this is T19 hours. Click OK add another one this is T 11 hours um, let's add T 6 hours and you get the idea so I won't continue to do the rest so I click on apply click OK and I've got a list so what I'll do I'll get rid of what's in here for now just to show you um, I might even make the space for it I'll drag this down and I don't need to look at the objects for now and if I view the module this is what it will look like. There you go, it's created a dynamic list. Ah, I can see an error there. I've dragged too much text off the screen. So it's always good to use this. So if I'm going to here, I'm going to take this out now. Cut that. Okay. And what I can do is just repaste it and it will create its own box and I can just put that next to it here if I want to so now when I view it it'll look much better there you go so that's inserting a list object into our module